I see you, Lucky. Shout out to Lucky in the building. All right, that was a very nice. Put your hands together once again, man. Very, very nice. The next artist I'm going to call to the stage goes by this gentleman. I met him, uh, what is it? I met him today, actually. And he goes by the name uh, The King. The King. Put your hands together for The King. All right. How we doing? Good. All right. My name is Mr. King, master of the spoken word. This particular piece is titled Dear Mama. Dear Mama, I'm writing this letter to you and all mothers like you just to let you know, Mama, I forgive you. I know you never meant to cause me any pain. I know it was that cook cocaine that disrupted your brain. I'm so glad you didn't remain on that cook cocaine. So pardon me, Mama, as I reflect back on the pain. Dear Mama, the kids down the street say you do a lot of drugs. Is that why I lack a lot of hugs and sleep with a lot of bugs, mama? Is that why our fridge only have mayo, Kool-Aid, and a coffee mug, mama? Is that why I see you walking through the house searching for God knows what fidgeting, looking bugged, mama? Dear mama, my Nintendo games are gone. Nana's money, my new sneakers that were barely worn. How the left side of my good shirt get torn? They tease me everywhere I go, mama. Sometimes I wish I was never born. Dear mama, I have a basketball game tomorrow. Will you try to make it? You should have seen me out there last week. The last shot, coach asked me to take it. Inbound pass. Fake left, go right, crossover, through the legs, off the glass. Ma, I bust they ass. Dear mama, I'm ahead in my class. You miss parents each night again. I love school, had to fight again. Hit someone with all my might again. I bet he'll leave me alone now. <laughs> mama, fighting isn't my thing, but I had to learn how. Mama, will you come back home tonight? Nan is here, so I know me and my brother will be all right. But I miss the last two nights. I really don't know what you love more. Your kids are that type. Mama, make up your mind. Did you learn anything having to go away in due time? Foster care was rough, yeah, but I was tough, mama. I made it out just fine. Forgive yourself, mama. I'm Krim, daylight Krim, otherwise known as top shelf, mama. But I know I couldn't be who and what I am without you, my dear. That's why to this day I hold you near. My unconditional love will remain constant, I swear. Dear mama, you'll always be right here. Yeah. Yeah. How many of us have dreams in here today? All right. All right. I have a dream that I was finally free. That I used my life as a light to shine for all the world to see. That I found a resting place for injustice, discrimination, oppression, racism, and police brutality. I have a dream today. That every man, woman, and child will treat one another as they treat themselves. For minorities, underprivileged children of the ghetto be given the same rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as everyone else. I have a dream today that we can rise above the lies told by politicians as they plan, plot, and strategize our demise. I'm tired of seeing my brothers being trapped by undercovers or being hit with 50 shots from police glocks as we do nothing but watch them tell lies to their mothers. I have a dream today. That there were more libraries and schools than bodegas and liquor stores. We lived drug free, we lived lavishly, and role models we couldn't ask for more. Our fathers became daddies that instilled values in their children. Our teens aspired to do more than play ball and rap. We finally found Osama and Barack Obama became president and painted the White House black. I have a dream today. It's the same dream, deeply rooted in the American. Dream provided to us by our great leader, Dr. Martin Luther King, that is from every mountainside for freedom to ring. That is for us all to agree when I say the time to make justice a reality for all of God's children is today. As a people, we have come such a long way, but we have so much further to go. I need us all to know, united we stand and divided we fall. So let's dream the unthinkable dream together, and one day this will truly be one nation. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How many of us know the origin of this word? I mean, really, no, not just use as 
the subject noun. Come on, don't you think it's time that we kick this word to the curb? Stay with me, don't swerve. I know this might touch a nerve in a few, but I really don't care because not too many of us knew. The reason this word suddenly grew, nigga, my nigga. N-I-G-G-E-R, if you're stolen African, you don't have to look far. They used us against us. When I say us, I put all of us in the same jar. But their efforts were subpar, and I'll tell you why. Just sit back and relax, you're about to get high. I'm about to give you a perspective of Tupac Shakur, Malcolm X, and Dr. King, as if they didn't die, because they didn't. My soul is big enough for them to live through me, all three. I know God didn't give me the only eyes to see. But since I have a voice, I want to be heard. On radio, TV, ships flown across seas by a little bird. That's my word. Hey, you remember me? Everyone knows me as a G. I'm a rider. I'm certified plus. So while I sip this thug passion, there's something I want to discuss. All the homies across the world take this gem with you. It's more precious than a pearl. When I said nigga, I spoke to N-I-G-G-A. But it didn't mean for you to chase women and drink liquor and smoke weed all day. And there's only one blood. So if it's not for protection or oppression, put your guns away, cuz blood, homie. What more do I have to say for you to wake up, for you to cake up? It's the reason I chose to die that way. Hey, you remember me? I stayed away from pork. I admitted I was wrong to say all white people had horns and carry pitchforks. There's no other I love more than my sister and brother. It was through all my walks in life that led me to discover the truth. Especially when that undercover caught me in the phone booth. After I did my time, I wanted to reach the youth. Then everyone else I can. It is so important for you to have a plan. Have discipline. Have structure in your life, man. Stop chasing. Find your queen and make her your wife, man. When times get hard and seem a little odd, I want you to remember. As long as you fear God and have your priorities in order, in your life you'll attract peace. But I'm not talking about staying silent or not retaliating if we being harassed by crooked police. I'm talking about being tame until it's time to bring out the beast. Hey, you remember me? I had a dream and I still do. You must think you're really free, don't you? I know you can sit on any seat of the bus, shop at any store, and go to any school you want to, but some of us, our mentality is trapped. See, when you trap, that means hustle. And when you gang bang, it really becomes vain that our forefathers had to hang and be slain. But I'm still praying that one day we'll see the light. I'm still praying that one day we'll make our wrongs right. I'm still praying that one day we won't have to go to war to fight for money, oil, power, or whatever they choose to fight for tonight. And when I say this, I say this with all my might. We, we are not niggas. Very nice job, the king. Put your hands together for the king. Yeah.